Dr. James Dow with us today, uh, doctor, the author of The Vitamin D Cure. When people think of vitamin D, I think they automatically think of the immune system. If you have a cold, you got to have more vitamin D. Can you talk about its relationship with our immune system, I guess, first of all, and then we'll talk about a couple of other certain issues. So um, I recently wrote a um, sort of a white paper um, uh, for a, uh, a company that measures vitamin D, and it was on this exact topic of what is the importance of vitamin D in our immune system. Um, uh, and, and, and so it's a timely uh, summary. Um, early on, when our immune system is developing, during fetal development and early childhood, the placenta is this organ, I, I really think of the placenta as, a, as an endocrine gland, and its secreted product is a new human being, okay? Because <laughs> the, 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 the placenta makes so many different mm -hmm. hormones. One of them is vitamin D. It has the ability to take substrate and turn it into active hormone. Um, <clears throat> but the placenta is this engineered sort of immunosuppressed environment so that the mother doesn't reject the fetus because the fetus is made of part of her husband uh, and so it is foreign proteins and so theoretically her immune system should reject this mm -hmm. this foreign thing but it doesn't and it doesn't because of the cortisol and DHEA um, and vitamin D and and all of these are immunosuppressive hormones that protect the fetus during its development uh, in the womb. Okay. And vitamin D is playing an additional role at suppressing the immune system um, uh, to prevent rejection of the fetus. At the same time, the fetal immune system is developing what we call central tolerance, which is it's, it's learning who it is, who, what itself is. It, it's learning self. Um, so it gets introduced to it, proteins in its muscle, in its liver, its kidneys, its brain, its heart, and it says, this is me. This is, I'm this new human being, let's call it Joe, and, and I'm being introduced to every little part of Joe, okay? Um, and, and it's okay, so I'm not going to have an immune response to myself, okay? Then, uh, and so the hormones of pregnancy and vitamin D and the hormones the fetus makes all contribute to suppressing the immune system and allowing it a chance to develop recognition of self. Then, after birth, it has to develop recognition of some key things in its environment. It has to develop recognition of food. It has to develop recognition of bacteria that start growing in its gut because there's a difference between getting the flu and the bugs that grow in your gut mm -hmm. all the time. And you don't want your immune system to attack the bugs in your gut all the time because there's a symbiotic relationship sure. there. They're helping you grow and, and digest your nutrients for you. But you, by the same token, you want to be able to fight off the virus that, that you might get infected with. So the immune system has to learn the difference between bugs that are friendly and bugs that are not so friendly, mm -hmm. okay? Um, and vitamin D plays a key role in the immune system being able to make that distinction, okay? Um, uh, and so vitamin D in general helps with tolerance, adapting okay. to these, these things, self and the environment. Um, and then after uh, the, the, the child um, is relieved from the mother's protection, because after birth the, the child is protected by the mother's breast milk. There's lots of antibodies there, and the mother's immune system is still doing most of the work. Once the breastfeeding stops, then the immune system takes on a much more defensive posture which is why newborn babies who are still breastfeeding rarely get sick. Mm -hmm. And they don't start getting sick till they stop breastfeeding because now the immune system is in defense mode and, and everything changes complexion. And now vitamin D is no longer suppressing the immune system to develop tolerance as much as it's alerting the immune system to protect it in defense mm -hmm. mode from microorganisms like viruses, bacteria, and fungi that come along uh, later in childhood. Um, so vitamin D is important for central tolerance, learning who you are, self-tolerance. It's important for peripheral tolerance, learning what foods are okay and what bugs are okay. And then after that stage of developing tolerance, vitamin D becomes a critical um, uh, in, in managing and preventing infections. Um, there are studies looking at children and influenza. This study was done in Japan. Um, and they, they said, well, let's put one group of kids on vitamin D and the other group not on vitamin D, follow them through a flu season and see what the rate of contraction of the flu is um, between these two groups. And what they found is the vitamin D group had 30 or 40 percent lower risk of developing okay. the flu than uh, the kids who are not getting vitamin D. So it works with viruses. We have lots of animal studies and um, uh, lots of human data looking at its relationship with 
diseases like tuberculosis, um, and vitamin D seems to be critical in helping your immune system attack, isolate, and kill uh, 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 tuberculosis. Um, uh, so it, it seems to be very important, uh, and there's lots of research going on now uh, with HIV. And we're wondering, mm -hmm. okay, why is Africa the country that's plagued with it? Well, we, there's clearly issues with poverty and malnutrition. Mm -hmm. But when you think of the malnutrition, you think, uh, what about vitamin D deficiency? Actually, despite being a very a country bathed in sunlight, because of severe malnutrition, these people are also vitamin D deficient. Because you need enough fat and cholesterol in your diet to mm -hmm. make vitamin D. And if you don't have enough fat and cholesterol from malnutrition, you can't even make vitamin D from sunlight. Mm -hmm. um, and that's what we're seeing uh, in a lot of areas of Africa and India is that these equatorial populations are suffering from vitamin D deficiency because of the malnutrition. The general malnutrition um, is not giving them the fat they need to make vitamin D mm -hmm. from. Um, and, and, and they have many more infectious diseases there. Yes, there are public health issues there too, mm -hmm. but vitamin D may be playing another role in, in why the infection rates sure. are so much higher in these areas.